Hello, this is Matthew Mead and this video will show you how you can integrate Aperial wireless locks into Axis Camera Station Secure Entry. Currently, we integrate Aperial locks via the AH30 hub. The hub is connected to your Axis door controller via RS485 and can connect up to 16 wireless doors. There are a couple of steps to the integration. The first step is to configure the locks with the Aperial Programming Application tool. This is used to pair your wireless locks with your AH30 hub. Note, this configuration will not be covered in this video. After this initial configuration, you have to configure the Axis Door Controller, which includes adding a Axis Door Controller extension license to access the wireless functionality. Note that you have to purchase this license separately. Let's take a look at the Axis Door Controller configuration. Once a door controller has been added to Axis Camera Station, the first step is to upgrade the firmware. The latest firmware is required to access the latest features and you must install version 11.6.16.1 or higher. Once the firmware has been upgraded, it is important to ensure the time of the door controller is correct. Use the time synchronization menu to configure your NTP settings and check the door controller time is synchronized with your server. The next step is to license your Axis door controller for wireless functionality. Connect to the web interface of the device and select apps. Then select activate license with a key and add your license file. Once your license is valid, start the app. You will then be able to access the wireless locks menu. Here, we connect the Aperial AH30 hub to our Axis door controller. After giving the hub a logical name, we can add our wireless locks. Here, we can see four locks have been added to the Aperial hub. Select the lock you wish to configure and give it a nice name, such as the physical location of the lock, before selecting the capabilities of your lock. Once added, you will see a brief overview of the lock. We can now configure the door within the Access Control menu. Add the door in the normal manner, selecting Wireless Door as your door type. Select your wireless lock and identification profile before defining the sides of your door. You can also add sensors and also Change the settings of the door here. Once your door has been configured, you will see an overview of the door, which also includes the battery status. It is worth noting the operator of Access Camera Station will receive an alarm notification when the battery level is low and critical. The battery status is also available as a device event trigger, so an action such as an email or mobile notification could also be configured when the battery requires attention. The final element to configure is the access rules. Here you define the door, the card holders and schedules. Once this is complete, the door will behave as if it was hardwired. This also includes the door dashboard and its controls. I hope you found this video of interest. Thank you for watching.